brain training game that works. In the news recently, a novel kind of brain training game had been shown to work for the first time and surprised everyone with its novel way of increasing fluid intelligence. This mental exercise limbers up the brain's overall capacity to solve problems. The scientists who developed the game all believed it can be a boon to education for the simple reason that it paved the way to improve one's overall intellectual performance. Novelty. The new computer-based brain training method designed to improve working memory also managed to increase scores in fluid intelligence or general problem-solving ability. What surprised the other scientists and psychologists was the fact that in practice, the only way to increase fluid intelligence is through the direct practice of the tests themselves. This time, however, the work of doctors. JG and Bushkul and colleagues overturned this long-held view. Their brain training method increased fluid intelligence scores simply by training. The ability to improve fluid intelligence has been termed by Dr. JG as the ability to reason and to flexibly adapt to new situations. The game Dr. JG and colleagues gave 35 volunteers a series of training exercises designed to improve memory and 35 more to a control group. Participants saw a sequence of squares appearing one after the other on the computer every three seconds. The goal was to decide whether the currently seen square was at the same position as the one somewhere in the sequence. Was it the same as the one two or more positions ago? At the same time, participants heard spoken letters and their task was the same as the one in the visual form, only this time it was spoken in audio. The process is actually two independent modality streams running simultaneously. The tasks were adapted in a way that when participants performed well, the task became harder. If participants performed badly, the task becomes easier. In effect, the task always matched the processing abilities of the participants. The performance. After the tests conducted extensively on four groups, etc., the trained subjects showed significant improvement, they could move from solving over nine problems to twelve. Afterward, the more the participants trained, the more problems they could solve in the post-test, a significant and surprising 40% improvement. The surprise. In education, transfer effects are central to the system. The assumption is that what we learn in school will apply later sometime in our life in the future. In the research test, there was a tangible transfer, most pronounced on tests with children. The transfer was the most exciting part of the research. Brain training puzzles. In many newspapers today, there are many brain training puzzles found. There are new generations, too, of video games and consoles such as the Nintendo DS in the hope that they can keep alerting the elderly minds. Many of these will no doubt improve memory and there is now speed in solving puzzles like the Sudoku. There are some, like the good old crosswords, that expand vocabulary. The elderly have been known to benefit from some software exercises also that improve memory. Brain training is now getting closer and closer to finally make giant strides in helping fight some old brain nemesis as Alzheimer's and dementia. Benefits of brain training. All over the world today, scientists have now agreed that brain training can and do improve brain power. As the comparison of physical exercise is good for the body, brain training can keep older minds to function better, and with a bonus, the benefits can last for years. According to new studies, participating in interactive games help maintain cognitive functions. Mental activities like reading may delay or prevent memory loss. Even after five years, older adults who had about 10 sessions of supervised brain training had shown long-lasting improvements in memory, reasoning, and speed of processing. Research finds. Another striking feature in the research on brain training is the discovery of evidence of the participants' transfer of skills to everyday functions. Compared to those untrained, these participants were able to do such skills as cooking, managing finances and using their medications. Reliable improvements had been noted at 87% in speed training and at 74% in reasoning training. These improvements in mental acuity had been detected for about two years or more by the authorities. Long-term effects. 
In short, these improvements in brain abilities, better memory, better problem-solving skills, and better concentration after training have roughly counteracted cognitive decline that older people, even those without histories of dementia, are known for. Another bit of good news is that researchers have found out that these cognitive improvements were still detectable even after five years since the training. Brain-trained seniors can still outperform those untrained individuals in the mental abilities that they had received instructions before. Function loss and recovery. Research had also discovered that just like losing muscle mass as a person ages, brain function also begins to decline with the passing of years. This is true to all persons, even those leading healthy normal lives. Everyone knows that the prevention of muscle loss can be done by exercise and the continued use of these muscles over time. In the same token, scientists surmised and were proven correct, brain function loss can also be recovered and improved if it has its own form of exercise. Neurons. It had been long established by science that neurons nerve cells, are unique in that they will atrophy and die if they do not receive stimulations either electrical or chemical, from their neighboring cells. Conversely, if these neurons are stimulated by way of new sensations, new knowledge, and new experiences, they develop new neural connections between themselves. Once these connections are established, the neurons will all live and grow more connections. In illnesses like Alzheimer's, strokes, and other motor neuron diseases, this self-destruction of neurons can lead to serious consequences. Memory loss, difficulties in comprehension and many other critical mental functions are just some of the sorry results. Stick to itiveness. One important factor to brain training is sticking to it, especially if you are doing your training by yourself. Clinics and other rehabilitation centers have their programs and training usually done in groups to minimize boredom in the participants. Another side note to brain training is to perform them in the morning. It had been noted that mornings are the times when the brain is at its peak level of activity. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.